Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert, uh, and confession time again, I'm doing a review that I thought I was going to dread. We need another piano sample library like, um, well, I didn't think we needed one quite frankly. However, my mind has been changed. Stranger things have happened over time. So let me introduce you to the CFX Concert Grand by Garatan and Abbey Road Studios. This thing is sweet. It is also incredibly thirsty. Ships on a USB key, um, but it expands out to around about 50 gigabytes for the full version. The compact, the kind of limited versions go down to about 12 gig, but you really want the full top banana for this thing. So CFX is actually the name of the Yamaha piano that was used in the sampling of this library. Abbey Road Studios, obviously, because it was sampled at Abbey Road in studio number one through their rather beautiful Neve console. Microphones are plenty, all the normal goodies you'd expect from a sample library of this quality. So what actually is it? What do you get? It's a sample of one piano in one room, but Really, that doesn't even come close to explaining it. It sits within the ARIA player, that's Garatan's own playback device, and you can see here I've got my presets, which I can load, and there are many and various of them, the classical styles, contemporary ones, and the player. Player is actually sampled using a Neumann binaural head rather than specific microphones. Compact is the slightly cut down version, and obviously you can unload everything using an empty patch, which is kind of handy. But they really have taken a lot of care to do a very, very good job on this. Let's have a quick look around the GUI. Main menu takes me back to this rather lovely picture of Studio One with a grand piano in it. I've then got three controls for my microphones, my close mics, my ambient mics, and my masters. I've got a limiter on there, and I can also mute out the individuals if I want to, which is quite nice. If I go over to piano, I've got control over the actual the actual piano itself. I can open up the lid, either half open it or have it fully closed. And I've also got controls over the uh, sympathetic resonance, the uh, sustain resonance, release volume, release crossfade, uh, release decay, and the pedal noise. This is the kind of the internal piano sounds, if you like. Now in the studio section, I basically have my ambience controls, and I can apply effects and apply an ambient space to change where this particular piano is spaced, if you like. Lots of different types. I've then got my levels and saturation. I've also got a really nice feature where I can change the stereo image from the performer's um, ear view, if you like, to the audience um, ear view, for lack of a better phrase. I've got an EQ for both my close mics and my ambience. In the advanced section, I've got lots of different control about how I run the, how hard effectively I'm running things. I can change the velocity curve. There are lots of different ones. I tend to play quite heavy, so um, you might want to ease it up on that a little bit. Advanced settings for setting my RAM and disk cache, things like that. Different tunings, which I can also change down here above the keyboard. And obviously the basic info um, and licensing information. Way more important than talking about it is actually listening to it. So what I've done is I've got two pieces of solo piano music and the last one I will save, well, for last, obviously. So the first one is a traditional classical piano solo piece. Um, I've set it on dark cinema, so you get lots of lovely ambience. Um, and I'll kick in some of the different settings as we go through, as the piece goes through, so you can actually have a listen to how this sounds.
I think that sounds really rather lovely. Lots of control, but if you just want to use the presets, it sounds perfectly usable just like that. So the next piece is a bit more jazz. I've used a vintage Evans preset, Bill Evans hopefully, and let's have a listen to this. I mean, it's a bit different. I've changed the ambience, changed the EQ a little bit. It's still the same piano, it's still the same sample set, but um, well, have a listen, have a listen to the difference. Now the one thing it is probably worth noting is that this is a sample library obviously and it was recorded in a fairly famous room. Even if you take the reverb off, you do not totally get rid of that Studio One kind of sound unless you bring the ambient mics down. The only way to get this as an absolutely dry piano sound is to get rid of those ambient mics and just use the close-ups. The binaural head on um, the player setting does a fairly good job of that but say you're not going to get rid of that kind of studio ambience unless you bring the ambient mics down i know it sounds incredibly obvious but um someone's going to say i can't get rid of the reverb because that's how it sounds unless you bring the ambient mics down i like it it's not going to be to everybody's tastes so one of the things i really do like about this library is somehow maybe it's the abbey road studio one room i don't know somehow they've done a fantastic job of making these making this sample library blend and mix into tracks really really well let me just play this back to you um solo piano first so you can hear what's going to fit now this is a mix of a, of a, a rock track um full band again drums guitars vocals the works um, you wouldn't expect anything less from me. But it's a static mix. There's no automation. And the piano goes from being really nice and punchy and out front in the solo section at the beginning to then still sitting really nicely in the mix when the rest of the instruments come in. So let me just play you the solo section back first. And now I'm going to play it back. Um, again, no levels have changed, nothing's changed, but the piano sits really nicely in the mix. doesn't get in the way, it's not too loud, it's just nice. So have a listen to this. Again, it's a track you'll probably know.
so I really like the way this sounds. It's got a really nice presence to it. It's not too biting, but it has got something that other piano libraries don't have, which is exactly what you want when you're buying a new library. You will probably be hearing this in uh, future demos of mine for other plugins and things like that. So um, yeah, I heartily recommend it. So that was the CFX Concert Grand from Garatan and Abbey Road Studios. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to leave you with a bit of the track because quite frankly, it wouldn't be one of my demos without it. I've been James. See you again soon for another review. <laughs>